I just want to uh, let folks know uh, that this is this is right. This is what needs to be done with all our deported veterans. Um, this is an American story. This is my American story right here. I mean, from it's been a it's been a whirlwind, man. You know what I mean? Since since they told me that it was a possibility for me to cross, it's been ramping up my nerves, everything. But yesterday, as, as it came to a point, and it was my my last wake up, you know what I mean? My last wake up call. Man, yeah, it, it, it was crazy, and, and I, I've been uh, I've been on a roller coaster ride since yesterday. It seems like I'm still on it. Alrighty. Um, welcome, welcome, welcome. I said, let me make sure everything's real. Uh, <laughs> let me just make sure that everything is real and it's not a dream. Because I've dreamed about this for so long. Mm -hmm. uh, this, I really dreamed about this for so long. Uh, oh my God, this is a dream come true for me. Mm -hmm. This is a dream come true. This is what they say when your dreams come true. Mm -hmm. I, can't, I can't believe it brought me here. Yeah. I don't think I've had many dreams come true for me. I, I've just lived my life. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Uh, from day to day from obstacle to obstacle and, and you know just fighting but uh, my dream my actual dream that I, that I can say that I know that I've had is to come back home mm -hmm. that's been a dream of mine now for over a decade for so long and now I mean it's a dream come true I, I, I can say that you know I can say that I've experienced that that is so it's cool. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> When I first met these guys, I said, stay alive. Whatever it takes, you guys stay alive because you're going back. You know, that's your first duty yeah. yourselves. You did. They did. These, are, these guys are tough. They're the toughest people I've ever met. That's why. That's why. Right. <laughs> the first deal in the U.S., what are you going to have? I mean, it's not a bad choice. Pilot, the Duke, and co-pilot James on a VIP flight to Phoenix, Arizona. First class. For that brother up bar. <laughs> back, back when we were in Afghanistan and Iraq, you know, Arabia and Bahrain, wherever they sent us, we, we were always on mission and, and we would talk to each other and be like, Hey, we'll, we'll get home. I mean, back when we were active duty, service members. That's what we fought for, to get home, really. You know what I mean? To get back home. Uh, and that's what we fought for when we were exiled. Do yeah. you have some kind of ID with your picture on it? Yeah. Okay. Arizona license. Okay, cool. Okay. Because, it's still valid. Because yeah. when we go still into valid. Arizona... It's still valid? This long? Because when we go into Arizona, we have to go across that agricultural check. A lot of time the border oh, control over there too. Interesting. Okay, do you have, do you have a print out of your parole letter? Yeah. Yeah. My license is 2042. 2042. 2042. That's crazy. It's yeah. Arizona. Yeah, yeah, it's like for us. Especially Arizona. It's so weird about their ID. Yeah. Thanks, bro. See you then. Okay. Yes. I'm really happy for him that he's going to be able to see his family. He, I know that he's being sad because he can't see them. But I'm really happy to be here too. With the transition, you know, it's gonna be hard for him. But I'm gonna see him soon. I can go home and visit. But he he wants to come back to Rosarito area, and that way 
people who can see me. Mm -hmm. And also, we can, we can have like an international family, I guess. <laughs> okay, that's what's up. All right.